All right, so we're going to show how to set up the 3D printer so you're, you're ready to start printing something, okay? Right now it's off. This is the USB cable. It's probably going to already be plugged in, okay? So you take the USB cable, and then this is the little red thing here is the Raspberry Pi that acts as our printer server so we can access it over uh, a web browser anywhere from in the building. It's wireless, okay? So you take the USB cable from your printer, and you plug it into this top port of the Raspberry Pi right here. Okay, now that's plugged in. All right, then you need to plug in the Raspberry Pi's power right over here. And then once you plug in the Raspberry Pi's power, you can see the little light comes on and then there'll be another one in there blinking. And so what you have to do, then once you've got that plugged in, turn the power of your printer on, okay? And it'll take it a few minutes to get connected, but once it gets connected, then you go to your computer and you browse to the address for this, which we'll talk about in a minute, and you'll be ready to print. So now we're going to talk about how to change the filament if you want to change to a different color or a different kind of filament. Okay, so first thing we have to do is go to our computer control. So over here on the computer, first thing I need to do is I need to turn on the hot end or the extruder so that it'll start warming up to the correct temperature. So you're going to set that to for PLA plastic, which is what we have, to 205. So you set that, and then if you look up here in the graph, it will start... This little line here shows you what the temperature should be, and then the other red line here will show you that the temperature is starting to rise. Okay, so once that rises up to 205, then we can change it out. Okay, next thing, okay, right now, this is kind of difficult to get to because our print head is all the way up here at the top. So we're going to move it down a little bit so we can get to it better. So what we're going to do is come over here to the control, and you click on the tab up here that says control. And then these are your controls. X and Y move the plate around, and the Z moves the head up and down. So we need to move the head down, so I'm going to click the down button on the head, and then it starts moving. Every time I click it, it moves it a little bit. Okay, so let's click it again, and it'll move it down. And you can click the other one to move it up. Okay, anyway, I'm going to move it down. I want to move it down several times so we can get it kind of in the middle where it's a lot easier to work with. And it's moving at like 10 millimeters at a time, so that's like one centimeter. So you're gonna have to click it several times till it gets down to where we can work on it a little bit better. Okay, Turn it a little bit lower so we can easily see it. All right, there we go, that's pretty good. All right, now let's look back over here and we'll check our temperature again and see our temperature is still rising up to 205. So once it gets to 205, then we can actually change the filament out. All right, now, if we look at our graph, our temperature of the hot end is up at where it's supposed to be. And look right here, it says it's 205. So we're good. Okay, and now we can change out the filament. Okay. So what you do, first thing is flip this little lever up. It's, it's kind of under tension because it's got springs on it. So you flip the lever up and then this other lever pulls down and it's got this little wheel that helps feed the filament in. Okay, once you've got that open, you have to reach up here and just pull it out. And sometimes it gets a little stuck and you have to pull it and then it just pops right out. Okay, so now we've got this filament out. Right, um, before you put the new filament in, you have to check the end of it. This one's a little rough. It's got kind of a rough spot on it. I don't know if you can see it in the video very well. But what I like to do is uh, take a pair of scissors or a, a pair of wire cutters would be good and kind of cut it at an angle a little bit and then give yourself a nice clean edge to start with. Okay, once you've got that cut, put your filament spool on the spool holder, okay, and then you insert it into the hole, okay, and once it goes down in there, you're not quite done yet. Okay, Robert, look down here at the bottom, okay, you're going to push on it until some filament starts coming out. Okay, you see, right now, it's still kind of coming out blue because there's still blue filament in there from the last time. So you can keep pushing on that until you start seeing the, the next color coming. It's starting to get a little lighter now. Okay, so once it starts getting a little lighter, I know I'm almost there, so I'm going to stop pushing it myself. All right. So now we need to close all this back up 
So you push this lever that's got the wheel on it back over and you kind of have to pull out on the springs because it's tight and slip it back down in there. Okay, once you get it slipped down in, you're good to go, all right? But we're still, it's still not quite all completely white. It's still a little bit blue. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the computer and we're gonna click on the control tab and we need to do the extrude button. The extrude means it's gonna make it come out. So I clicked the extrude button and it pushes them out. So we're gonna do this several times until we are certain that we are getting the new color and not any of the old color. And so right now, I've pushed this three or four times and now it looks pretty white to me. So we're good to go with that. So I'm gonna stop. 